Welcome to my survival series for No Man's Sky. And what I want to do in this part is carry on with the 16 stroke 16 mission. But before that, I need to do a couple other things. The first thing I want to do is take a look at the community research because we are now in a new cycle and I'm going to be quite interested to see what the rewards are for completing that mission. I also want to do the farming mission, but also we've got the base computer is now reset. So we're going to go and talk to the base computer first. Get this out the way. WiMac base computer. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 82%. New data available, search construction database, Exosuit technology data extracted, downloading plans. Personal upgrade mod module synthesized from data scraps. Additional data available, log data from pre uh, search archives. Entry 4925X follows. Thought I had hours, but the data is already fading. The sun is slipping because light barely penetrates the thick rings looping endless around this because I need to hurry. Readable archive retrieval. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. So we've got an underwater protection module. It's a little bit late. I could have done that a little while ago. And the next thing I want to do is just go and check the Gravitino plant that I've put in. I'm not sure we can harvest that Gravitino ball. Hopefully the farmer will only require one. So we'll just go and grab the agricultural research and we'll just go and talk to him. Oops. And return to farmer. Yes, thank you. Now we'll just talk to the farmer. I know that sound anywhere. You carry Gravitino balls, do you not? Yes, hand in one Gravitino ball. Ah, it's like greeting an old friend. Let me see them. Really wondrous work, Traveller. So we've now got to plant an Ectro Cactus with 50 Cactus Flesh. I think I've got some Cactus Flesh, actually. We have seen so much life in frost and heat, nuclear winter and toxic wastelands. You should know by now that no world is truly barren, friend, even if there seems to be few signs of life. Take the Echno Cactus, for example. They are found in otherwise barren worlds waiting for the moment to thrive. Just think of what they will become in this superior environment. Uh, it wishes to be con the air, so it accepts. Look at, I look forward to the results, friend. All right, we're just going to, which way? So I'm pretty sure I have got some cactus flesh, which I picked up on my travels. Not in there. Probably in this one then. Got 19, which isn't enough. We need 50, I think. So we're going to have to go and get some cactus flesh. I'm curious about this bee underwater. Don't really have a slot for that. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to put this into my vault. Well, not with that one. It's this one. Just put that in there amongst with all my other upgrades, which I will probably want to use as and when something comes available. Got a mining beam upgrade. This one, oh, we've got an underwater protection module there, an S-Class. Interesting. So do I really need that one? Although that is tech, that is an upgrade. Pulse engine module, radiation protection module, starship shield module, hyperdrive module. <laughs> And I think that completes all the missions here. Yeah, we need to construct a colossal geo bay for the next step with the Exocraft technician. I don't think I've got the resources for that. Let me just have a quick look. Rust the Roma. I mean, 100 paraffinium, 5 metal plating. Can't remember if I've got 100 paraffinium. I can find it. I mean, I've got some paraffinium. I can find it. I'm sure I had some paraffinium. There it is there. Yeah, we've only got 23. Hang on. Put that back where I think it should be. We'll put it back into here. So I've got to get some paraffinium. So I think that's all we can do here. We can't construct the Colossal Spay. What we'll do is jump in the base terminus. 
And we're going to go back to Onga Prime to do the main primary mission. So here we are. We're in the callback system. We'll just change back to the primary mission. But we will stop off with the anomaly first. So we'll just get into here. So that's where we've got to go for the primary mission. Back to our supercritical planet. What's actually in front of us here? Unknown. That's frost crystals. That's no good. So what we're going to do is just get away from the space station and we'll bring in the anomaly. And here we are. So just go and talk to Quicksilver and see what the new rewards are for the community mission. Quicksilver. Create exotic items. So it looks like we've got some organic decorations. So we've got a void husk, a plate system and a compound bulb. But of course we can't get any descriptions from those until they're unlocked. So this is just items we can place down in our base. But of course the key problem is we're going to have to build a, a pretty good base to put all this stuff into. I, mean, I think we'll go and talk to Helios again. See if we can get anything out of him. No new discoveries. No, thank you. So he's not going to give me anything. I do have some salvage tech that I want to cash in as well so we're uh, just go in here get some more items for the base building and let's see what do I would like to get certainly would like the hollow door is that that's a lot better than the normal door uh, foundation let me just see. Paving. I wouldn't mind the paving. But then the... I think the windows might be better. I think I've just... We've got 10 salvage data left. I think I'd rather have the biodome as well. So that opens up a few options. Just with that... With the biodome, it means we can start some serious farming should we need it. And, and of course, that opens up a lot of extra space inside of here as well. Just take a look. At, am I refining anything? Yep. Pull that back. I don't think I've got anything else that I can refine just at the moment. I don't really want to convert the rusted metal. No. Nope. You have to go and try and pick up some more slime. So what we'll do now is we'll just get on with the main mission. It says seek the atlas. And of course we'll drop a save. Just in case we fly into trouble. And we'll take off. So we're gonna to have to find the, the mission. There it is. Oh, we got a gold nugget. I do need some gold actually, so that'd be quite. Wow. Okay, let's just. That can go to the exosuit. Looks like we're going to a portal. Uh ha. -huh. I'm not sure I've got all the resources to unlock a portal, actually. So here we are, we're just breaking through into the atmosphere, coming down on this portal. Seems to be on the other side of this mountain. So the landing could be interesting. 
Yeah, it's just tucked in this corner here, so we'll just fly out and turn round. And we'll fly in here. Also, I can't get a landing sequence. Oh, come on, game. There we are. Let's we'll have a look round. Anything we can scan? There's a, some kind of plant thing here. Level 40,000. And we'll just walk up to here. Oh, we've got to unlock again. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm. Oh, I've got the copper this time. I remember to bring it with me. Uh, to keep using the dihydrogen and the copper. I think we'll use condensed yeah. sodium. We could use five iron cobalt, ionized cobalt. Whoops. Keep using up the carbon and the sodium. And away we go. <laughs> Traveller anomaly confirmed. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal. I think of my travels so far, the decisions that I have made in my long journey. I found two travellers, one who wanted to meet others of their kind and one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived, though we could not find each other. And Artemis, I saved Artemis from death by putting them in a simulated world. I told them where they were and for that no doubt they hate me, but it was only right. All should know the who they are truly are. I told them where they, they were, and for that no doubt they hate me, but it was only right, all should know who they truly are. I do not know if it was right to do what I did, but I do not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me, should I choose to step through. Input the glyphs. I step forward, the gateway hums. And here we go again. always a little bit worried about going through these portals when I don't know where I'm going and away we go oh we're out in space <laughs> hope we're not staying long because we're probably not going to survive I don't think we could actually move in it there's lots repressurize immediately thank you game a bit of an unpleasant surprise Here we are. We are 1616 Atlas Protocol initiated. I, mean, I don't know whether I'll be able to get anything from these. We've got to go and talk to uh, the Ergol Singularity. Okay, here we go. Hello, world. It is the same terminal I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. Say hello. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. They've said you've been displaying aberrant behaviour, that you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. Initialate personality interface. Reality fades, everything does, something is wrong, something is different. Rejoice. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Vakin. It shows me all of them in an instant. All of those who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern and the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. I'm going to submit this time. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. But no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. 
The universe is a simulation. Yes, of course it is. I feel sadness. Everything I've ever done, every star I've ever seen, every planet I have discovered, none of it is real. None of my friends were ever real. My journey, it was just a lie. I think of how the Corvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to be good. I think of Nada's machine, how it felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel, I am not myself. In, in the end, uh, in the end, it finally speaks. Atlas, traveller. Did my words please you? Then they did. Waxes, do you think you are a simulated entity? You are more. You are an explorer of, of all I have created. You are a traveller. Do you believe you are real? Yes. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? Okay. How are you capable of choice? I will let you die right now if, if you wish it. Do you wish it? No. The Gek were traders defined by greed. The Vakim were warriors defined by anger. The Korvax were scientists defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to because I wanted to see what would you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you all would become. Receive judgment. You saved the life of iteration. Artemis and told them the truth of their simulated nature, believing self knowledge is to be worth more than any pain of this revelation may cause. Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You value knowledge, you interfere, you would have the potential to commit atrocities and wonders. Except the Atlas is silence in the face of my response, so it does not require acceptance or refusal. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distant from the Atlas, from everything else. I fear I am just code, a function dancing in the dark. It's over, Traveller. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. 16. 16. I cause it. Catastrophic system failure. Alert. Alert. 16 my 16. What am I? Cause what am I seeing? 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in. It. What is this place? Is it real? 16. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators. Um, 9845 failing. Data upload in. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out to me, afraid. Uh, comfort the Atlas. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has a so few tools. It cannot reach whatever it's hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes, minutes, seconds? Because I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if... I cry out. What? This is what is happening to so everything is changing and we are on our travels again so it looks like we've just landed on another strange planet we've got zealous sentinels isn't it? yeah thank you game Okay, locate ship. How far away is the ship? 526 units away. I don't really want to hang around here too long, so... Although we can. I think we might have been here already. So the key factor is that if you're going to be doing this part of the mission, make sure you've been plenty of oxygen or the ability to recharge your um, oxygen supply keep going I'm not seeing any sentinels at the moment which is good so here we are we're back to the ship which is good 
And we've got some a nice pile of goodies here, which we're going to... Oh no, I've already been here. Uh, that's annoying. That means we're probably... They're gravity nobles. I don't really want to mess with them. Well, just pick up these. Um, we'll just locate and board our ship. I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Vomit. <laughs> I'm all, I almost throw up, but as I'm about to do so, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My own illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic, response detected. Countermeasure deployed, purge neutralized. <laughs> it is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since the very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities and financial transactions. In a strange sense, the voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Uh, ask what I should do now. The exosuit doesn't answer, but I do feel better. Talking to a computer as if it's alive. While I've made a habit of that relately, I suppose. I was born with the capacity to do many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travellers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Take flight. I'm assuming... Not another traveller. Starship Guidance. Let's have a quick look at the missions. So we're still on 1616. We've got to warn travellers and we've got to take off soon. Okay, so we've got to make some pure ferrite. That's a bit sneaky. I can make the... I don't think... It's all my dihydrogen has been knocked out. Great. So I used all the dihydrogen for the... Now we've got a little bit. So if I... What's what I should be able to do? Just move this. Move this to the exosuit. So, <laughs> and I'll just put the dihydrogen in there. I want to make make two of these. We've also got some uh, rusted metal in our cargo vault. We've got a spare slot here. Oh, that's the di where the high dihydrogen was, wasn't it? Anyway, it was just... right, it's going to take a little while to do that, so we're going to go and take a look around and see what's available. The oxygen there, we're certainly going to pick that up because I think I've depleted my oxygen. Let me just have a look. Oops. Okay. Now, well, we didn't deplete our oxygen too much. I'll scan out some dihydrogen over there. Yeah, I know. Just do a little bit of long distance picking up of my hydrogen over there. Right, I've discovered the system. Um, I'm, I'm just curious to find out where I am. We're in Craigoof. Oh. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Okay, you seek ships for your fleet, yes. My ship is the best. Happy crew, excellence. Okay, inspect frigate. I'm not sure where these frigates came from. I've got an invisible frigate. I'm a little bit worried about that. I think we'll decline. Where am I? I mean, I wasn't all that inclined to pick up an invisible frigate because you don't know what consequences that would have if you say it got damaged and you couldn't find it to repair it. Okay, we've now got... Oh, we've got some trade. 
So we can see what this guy's got for trade and paid ship. Even before I speak, the pilot, pilot, even before I speak, the pilot has already prepared their manifest. What are you offering me? Probably could do with some drop pod coordinates. They do want to do that, and I think that's about it. We got a little bit of fecium. We might run into some need for that, so we'll, we'll buy the fecium as well. And that's about it. Right, we're going down on a cloudy planet. <laughs> that's actually got fecium on it. Oh well, that's the way it is. So here we are, we're just coming down on the hollow terminal. This one seems to be on the top of a mountain. I'm not sure if we've been to this one before. Although the knowledge stone is lit up, which is a, a possible indication that we have been here before. That we have been here before. Okay, let me just have a quick check. Well, if we've been here before, and I haven't picked up the, the resources. Okay, we've got a bit of projectile ammunition. Got a creature over somewhere 337 away. Not sure if we got that one. Oh, that was that was a long range shot. We got three out of eleven on this planet. I'm just gonna climb the ladder. Keep going up. And here we are. Press the holographic comms tower. Warning network failure. 16 warning network failure. The terminal stream, the terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Yes, attempt to broadcast. I warn the travelers of what I have learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. But after a millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Now, we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation. The time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finished my message, not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across the world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me to there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the centre of the galaxy. It is the epicentre of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will confront our creator. I'll find out what happens next. Forecast, and then error detected. There's progress to... Was the Galactic Center? That's interesting. And what have I got to do for that? What have we got here? Oh, we're certainly going to take the salt. That's too good to be too close. <laughs> We've got some more. Yeah, well, thank you again. We've got a super eater storm coming in. Right, I'm just going to grab the salt. There's not that much there anyway. This one doesn't want to work. These are active. Looks like my... managed to fill my inventory up. Um, what I'm going to do is just... Oh, inventory full. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? Uh, have I got a spare slot? I guess I have I put that into the high capacity. So, okay, it's time to get out of here. Progress towards the centre of the galaxy. Does that mean I've just got to follow? Well, I suppose the first step is to get up into space.
Uh, space Anomaly, alert Nada of the fate of the X. Right, there's some frigates coming here. What we'll do is we'll go and get close to these and see if we can recruit any of these frigates. Okay, incoming fleet frigacy. So I would like to send out a frigate mission. Friend, do you have many fine starships in your fleet? Yes, please. Take the frigate. That's a bit better. We've got a supply vessel here. It's not really that good, is it? It's got minus six exploration. No, I don't think I really want you. Sorry, but I think I can find better. I just rattle through these, inspect for a get. That's the support frigate C. Uh, minus 15% fuel cost. That's not that bad. I think we'll accept that one. Let's just go in here. Current mission at the station. So is is the mission implying that I've actually got to make a hyperdrive has no fuel? Okay. I thought my hyperdrive was full. Oh, go away. I'm busy. Right, face cannon, where are you? Wow. Hey, cut it out. Magnetized ferrites. So there's more than two of them. So I'm going to be a bit careful. It looks like I've got uh, frigate support. So we'll just. Right, let me just. Uh... Uh, just top that up. Pop a little bit of uranium in there. Right, let me just back to. Uh, right. So it actually says the purge. Reset the simulation. Board the space anomaly. So it's actually moved forward while I was actually doing the shooting. Got journey milestone accomplished. We've become a legend. We've destroyed 80 starships. And that completes that milestone. Let's just get out of here. I'm just going to summon in the anomaly. Let's come in here. And we're just going to jump into here. on the anomaly let me just have a quick look at what we got here I think what we're gonna I'm just gonna make a little bit of space oops ah, I can't really oh, we can put you in the there we can put the carbon in there and we got some barite dust so what we can do is come in here and we'll just put the not the pure ferrite, it's just the ordinary ferrite dust. Put you in there. Yeah, I know the output's occupied this. Okay, we've actually got a little bit of space, so what I can do is put that there. 
and we'll turn you into pure ferrite. I've got a little bit of space that gives me one space. I only got 20 salt out of that mining. That's a bit disappointing. Mission seems to have disappeared again. Just make sure it's active. And we'll go and talk to Nanda and Polo about the fate of Atlas. You know now, don't you, of our simulated nature of the end. The Atlas, it is failing. It resets itself again and again and again. The Atlas is failing. It resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. But each purge changes nothing. The boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in 16, but we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete it, us, us in fear. Uh, ask if Na Nada is all right. Nada tells me that they are fine. Touched that I asked. Uh, I, all must end. Time must end. Even here, Nada and Polo cannot escape re reality. Fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I will remember. Say goodbye. We will see you many times before the end. I'm sure. We have been a good entity. Okay. Do I need to talk to Polo? Okay. Let's talk to... Well, I know, traveller friend, when it happens. I suppose it may have happened before already. Again and again. Do you know if it has? I suppose you must not. Tell Polo about, the, about 16. No, friend. Do not talk about it. We are anomalous. We are amazing. Anomaly station, yes, but cause, but we are still fabricated beings. We, cause, not like you, we. Cause. Talk of nature brings pain, brings danger, but trust, we know, friend. Trust, we cry with you, that we will be with you always, no matter the danger or the cost. You are a friend. Okay. Um, I don't think I really need to ask about... Well, we'll ask about portals out of curiosity. Just devices, traveller friend, to be understood, copied, advanced... That is all I, we can do with this universe. Yes, appreciate it. Okay. So we're now back to the purge. There's progress towards the centre of the galaxy. Does that mean I've actually got to move towards the centre of the galaxy to change? So does that mean I need to move towards the centre of the galaxy to initiate the next step? Or is that it? Um, let me just see Atlas Path Space Anomaly. I think we can do one jump just out of curiosity and see what that actually happens. So we're just going to jump in here. When I've got the warp fuel for it. Yeah. The Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it, to plunge myself through its interface at the centre of the galaxy. But to do may reset the world, my life, all I, that I know. I do not know if I can do it. So we've got options. Seek the final interface. Complete the Atlas path. Explore the galaxy. Um, I'm curious. What is seek the final interface? Is that just an option? So is the mission changed now? Progress towards the centre of the galaxy. Reach the centre of the galaxy. Wow, does that mean I've got it? Wow, that's a long way. Um, let me just... But then I can always change things as I go. Yeah. What we can do is we'll just... Go to a new system. Just as an experiment. Right, so we've now made four, um, first contact of a new system. Journey milestone accomplished.
And what have we got in front? Data injection, sequence received, source unknown. Okay, here we go. They've left us because duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinates and secure the site in case I don't make it back. Please, input coordinates. My starship processes the coordinates from the stranger's message. The transmission has decayed over time, but the location appears to be valid. Um, deep, dreams of the deep. And we've got actually got our first glyph. Where on earth are we? Target outside local system. So if we come into the map here. So it's, it's effectively telling us to go there. But I don't really want to leave this system yet. Because if there's a space station here, we can get the inventory upgrade. Something tells me that we're in some kind of intermediate system here. There's no space station. And we've actually got a triple sun. This is new. I think this came in with the Origins update. Um, what is this planet showing? Activated cadmium. There's no space station here, so what we're going to do is we are will jump to the new system. Okay, I'm just going to go here. We can always go back to that system and check it out later on. Oh, and we just... <laughs> Thank you, game. Oh, look at this. Some of my favourite freighters are here. Transmission coordinates validated. Data injection sequence received. Source unknown. We've got a second glyph. Phase beam. Where's the hostiles? Can't actually see who I'm meant to be fighting at or shooting at. Be a little bit careful here. Oops, wrong weapon. Okay, we're in a space battle. I don't know if this is an intentional part of the... You have to be very careful not to hit the freighters because they've, they've got mounted weapons. Kick them off, I won't survive very long. <laughs> Stop drifting. Right, there's another one around here somewhere. Where is he? This is out of range. He's just coming over the top of the freighter. There's another one. Yeah, range. Escape possible. Emergency comms established, yes. Life form, please. Life form, uh, end communication. Yes, but which freighter is it? Got to be this one, but where's the entrance? I can indulge in a little bit of wishful thinking here, but... I'd be very surprised if I could afford to buy this one. I'm just going to go up and see. So hello to the guy. Whoops. <laughs> And 
here he is. Well, that's Corvax. Just going to come to here. And this is where it gets painful. That through the expect character. Oh, look at this. <laughs> um, 60. Oh, 16 million. Ooh, we can exchange by current ship for 16 million. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I've got to get it. Sorry. Uh, and I'm not even going to worry about what I've built in the other one. I mean, yeah, true, it's a C class compared to my current one, but it's the right shape. It looks right. And I, I'm going to be quite happy to take this. I mean, the big thing is, is it looks like my, it looks like the type of freighter I want to keep. And more importantly, it's, it's something that will encourage me to start to build a proper base. So we are going to spend 16 million on this. <laughs> yes. Uh, freighter. Oh, look at that. It actually looks like a freighter, doesn't it? And what I am going to do is dump off some stuff into my new freighter. I'll salt in. Put the gel, keep that. Keep that. Got a big pile of magnetized ferrite can go in there as well. Actually put some more in there as well. Uh, I'm not going to do any building just for the moment. Uh, we'll come back and do that another day. And of course, we're going to have to summon the freighter in order to be able to bring our other ships in. I think just to wind this video up, what we're going to do is uh, find the space station, if there is one. And we'll do the necessary upgrades. We can call the anomaly in as well. If I do them before I finish the video, I won't, I'll remember. Uh, I won't forget to do it. So we're just going to dive in here. And um, we'll just get over here, grab this, and there you go, 100,000 or half a million. I think we'll stick with the 100,000, I'll be a cheapskate. just get over here so what I want to do is just check the the missions um, something something browse missions we got here kill eight sentinels scan five plants would we'll take that and I've actually got the weapons mission for the base that involves killing sentinels I really need to do that Wow, we got a ship convention here. It would be a bit ironic if I buy a sh see a ship I like as well. Never mind. We're just going to fly out. So we're just going to fly out now and call in the anomaly. So we're just. Come over here. All in the anomaly. And 
up we go. Oops. And we'll expand this, or I think I would like a technology slot actually, because I feel that if I put a technology up here, it might actually ease the pressure a little bit on the rest of my exosuit. Um, although, <laughs> I could move this up now, but there. That frees up a slot in here. In fact, what we could do is just move you next to that there. And then as I fill this slot up, I can move these around because we're not going to do that much um, swimming underwater or anything like that. Although I think that glyph we were looking at might involve going underwater. So let's just get back out of here. Well, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. Probably in the next part, we will carry on with the purge because this will lead us towards getting all the glyphs. And I think getting all the glyphs then opens up the ability to use the portals. And I suppose maybe just to wind this up, let's have a quick look. So we've now got effectively halfway through all the journey milestones, ships destroyed. We need to go and destroy some more sentinels. We've got extreme survival, space exploration because we need to do a bit more warping, but we're getting there. And of course, we've got plant, planetary zoology. I, I do have the mission for the weapons guy in the base, which means I've got to kill eight sentinels. So we could do that and then combine these two missions together. Um, I mean, the Gek, we're, we're doing okay with the Gek. We're up to bronze, except with standing. Uh, similar situation with the Vakeen. It looks very much like the Corvax like us all the way across the board with from respect to bronze. Merchant's Guild. I need to obviously do a bit more work with the farming. Apprentice are units there. Um, Mercenaries Guild likes us. We're making good progress on that. And the Explorers Guild. Well, it looks like we've already completed one there. Rare creatures scanned. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.